Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Jamie Lee Curtis Ares a throwback Halloween image of her wearing Michael Myers mask. Over the years, Curtis has become a household name from starring in movies like True Lies, Freaky Friday, and Rian Johnson's Knives Out. However, her career really began to take off in 1978 after appearing in John Carpenter's Halloween. Curtis would later return as Laurie Strode in Halloween 2, Halloween H820 de la Noche years later, and Halloween. Resurrection, none of which were as critically acclaimed as the original. Nearly a decade after Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 in 2009, Curtis returned for David Gordon Green's Halloween. Halloween takes place 40 years after the original movie, acting as a soft reboot and sequel to Carpenter's film. Curtis had a starring role in the film rather than a short cameo, so Wing Michael's effects on Laurie in the last four decades. Laurie Strode nearly defeated Michael Myers with her daughter Karen and granddaughter Allison, but Halloween Kills picks up with the boogeyman escaping Laurie's burning home. Curtis has remained active on social media, Sarin who looks at Halloween Kills prior to the movie releasing in theaters and on Peacock on October 15. Before audiences see the next chapter in the Halloween saga, Curtis has shared a throwback image from her early days in the franchise. The actress took to Instagram to share 10 images of her journey through the Halloween franchise, including one of her wearing the iconic white mask. Check out all of the throwback images below, click here to see the original post. The current Halloween trilogy effectively revived the horror franchise, but it is very much paying homage to what came before. Carpenter himself is heavily involved with the trilogy, composing the score for all three films. Nick Castle, the original actor to play adult Michael Myers in the late, 70s, has returned for cameo roles in Halloween and Halloween Kills. The upcoming sequel has also formed its marketing campaign around returning characters, including Lindsay Wallace, Kyle Richards, Norse Marian Chambers, Nancy Stephens, and Sheriff Lee Brackett, Charles Cyphers. Tommy Doyle and Lonnie Elam are also returning characters, although they are this time being played by Anthony Michael Hall and Robert Longstreet, respectively. So many returning characters is certainly a treat for longtime Halloween fans, yet the sequel's story is still mainly about the Strode family. Karen and Allison look to have a more active role in the fight against Michael Myers, with some theories think that Lori herself might not make it out of the trilogy alive. The character has come a long way since Michael attacked her on Halloween night in 1978, and the next two sequels will finally put an end to Lori's fight with the Shade. Source, Jamie Lee Curtis.